Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Do you dread the dark cockpit in X-Plane 12? If the answer is yes, then stick around because there is a fix for it. What you'll immediately notice in this X-Plane 12 footage is that the cockpit panel textures are quite bright and quite sharp as well. You'll also notice that the raindrops on the windshield are smaller in size, a bit more realistic. So. How do we achieve this result? And how do we fix the dark cockpit issue in X-Plane 12? The answer is using the RXP XP12 Enhancer Lua script. This script is available freeware. It works with Fly with Lua. The link to both the script and Fly with Lua will be provided in the description section of the video. Now, this Lua script does not just fix your cockpit, your dark cockpits, but also it will bring a host of other features that will enhance the visual fidelity in x 12. Let us take a look at this script and all the features that come with it. We're going to go to plugins and then we're going to choose fly with Lua and reload all the scripts. As you can see here, the script is now running and all these features are enabled. You will notice that we have enhanced exposure, shadows, and lighting. And this is the main uh, feature here that will change things around and will completely eliminate the darkness in the cockpit, and especially when you have a lot of light coming in. So the bigger the windows and the bigger the cockpit, the more light will come in as you fly, and that will cause the scene to become extremely dark. And this is going to really enhance the exposure and will fix all the issues that you've had with the, with the dark cockpits. There are a number of other enhancements, as you can see, the cloud and the rain, as well as the ocean and water. There are also some cosmetic uh, changes and miscellaneous items there. And I have tried some of these. They don't really do anything as far as the visual fidelity. Uh, the developer was kind enough to include some tips to let you know if this specific option is going to affect performance. So let's take a look here at the features. Uh, you will notice here that the cockpit colors are looking very bright and very sharp. You'll notice that the raindrops here are smaller and looking a bit more realistic. And here we can notice the water enhancements that the script brings to Explain 12. Let me very quickly show you um, if we reload the scripts here and if I remove the enhancement of uh, oceans, lakes, and rivers, as you can see now, things look a little different. And with this enhancement here, the water looks a little bit more realistic and more believable. I do like the script. It's very lightweight, doesn't really cause any FPS issues, and it fixes this really dreadful x 12 dark cockpit issue. Another enhancement that this script brings to x 12 in terms of the visual fidelity is the night lighting enhancement. Now, this is totally optional, but I personally highly recommend it. I believe that it does fix the um, uh, the traffic lights, uh, the, pole, the street pole lights, as well as the lights on the cars uh, during nighttime, uh, especially the brake lights and the splash lights. Uh, I believe it does bring uh, a lot of enhancements there to, to make the overall scene more realistic and more believable. Here is another footage of X-Plane 12 where we can, you can clearly see the shadow enhancement that uh, RxP uh, brings to, to, to the sim. Uh, the shadows are much nicer, they are more realistic looking, and the overall look and feel of the sim is definitely improved over the default um, shadows in X-Plane 12. In order to address the dark cockpit issue in X-Plane 12 and enjoy the rest of the enhancements, with the RxP Enhancer, all you need to do is head over to the link provided to you in the description section of the video. Then click on Download. Once you have downloaded RxP Enhancer, extract the contents of the zip file. You will end up with the RxP XP12 Enhancer.lua, which is the script that needs to go into the Fly with Lua scripts folder. You can see there is a README file, some screenshots there, and extras. Now we'll cover the extras a little bit later. First, we're going to copy the RxP Lua script 
and we're gonna go to the Xplane 12 installation folder, and then we're gonna navigate to the resources folder, plugins folder, fly with Lua, and then we're gonna go to the scripts folder, and we're gonna right click and paste the script. As you can see, I have already pasted the script here, so I'm going to skip this step. The next step is totally optional, but highly recommended. We are going to use the script to enhance the night lighting in x 12. To do this, we're gonna go to the extras folder, then we're gonna double click on the resources folder, bitmaps, world, lights, and we're gonna copy those two files. 1000 lights close.png and the lights.txt. It is a good idea to always back up your files. We're gonna go ahead and copy the files. Then we're gonna go to the explain folder and we're gonna navigate to resources, bitmap. Then we're gonna go to world, lights, and we're gonna right click and paste the files. The developer of this script has made available a few 4K screenshots that you can use to change the splash screen of x 12. Those are located in the extra output folder inside the backgrounds folder. And what you can do here is you can select all of these files and then you go to your x 12 installation. Then we're going to go to the output folder and then we're going to go to backgrounds and you can paste the files here. Every time x starts, it will randomly select one of these background images. We are now airborne and we can examine the script in action. As you can see, the dark cockpit issue is totally fixed. And you can also notice the enhancement to the clouds. RxB x 12 Enhancer is available free of charge. The link to it is available in the description section below. Personally, I do like it and I do recommend it. It does really address the issue beautifully. The only thing is it will need to be updated for future versions of x 12. Laminar has not confirmed yet when this issue will be permanently resolved, but until then, this script will do the trick. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I hope that you found it useful. And if you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.